Hi everyone, Peter Lissiaga here, Mount Laurel Martial Arts guy, and right now it's about 10 after 8, and I thought I'd come live and share with you guys something that, a conversation basically that I had with another martial arts, a martial artist who has just opened up their karate school, and I was chatting with him, we were both talking about uh, why it would make sense for parents to do martial arts. Now, if you want to find out about a martial arts program, just go to DonatoKarate.com or call us at 856-235-0414. But this is a good question. He had asked me, he said, look, you know, I'm trying to get parents to see the value in martial arts and, and uh, it's hard for me to make sense of them spending money on martial arts for their children. I don't get it. And where's the real value? And that's a great question. And it's something that I've, you know, it's always been for me obvious, the value of it. And, you know, the picture you see right here, you see, that's my son. He actually started when he was two, <laughs> two years old. And this is him. I guess he was about five or six there. Okay, that's us you know, posing, dad and son. And this is when he got his first degree black belt here. And he had just uh, broke some boards. But how can parents make sense of martial arts for their children? And what I want to do is uh, just take this time and share with you what I think uh, uh, that you should consider. The one of the things that, one of the struggles that I've had as a uh, martial artist for decades is that no one really understands the value of martial arts. And I wrote an article, and I just printed it up for myself uh, so I can read it to you. I want to actually read this to you guys. And, and I, it's an article I wrote, The True Meaning of Martial Arts. Uh, and it's only a couple of pages long, but I'd love to read it to you if you don't mind. And uh, I'll, I'll go through it, but uh, I just want to read this for you guys there. And, it's, and I, I titled it, The True Meaning Behind Martial Arts. And... Uh, let me go. So many, uh, many may argue with me as to what the true meaning behind martial arts is, and I respect their opinions. However, if you were to ask a non-martial artist what the true meaning behind martial arts is, the common answer would be to fight or to be able to kick someone's butt or to defend yourself. Okay, they're, they're, those are the most common answers people would give. Being a practitioner of martial arts for over 48 years, my answer has evolved over the years. And it has. Because one time I thought, that's all I want to do is kick someone's butt. That's why I started martial arts as a kid growing up in the streets. Let me get some water here. My throat's really dry. Oh, I see a couple of you guys joined me on here. I see Mrs. Dash. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, um, oh, Mrs. Matthews here. Hello, everyone. And Mrs. Dash says, I plan to to uh to join to join one one of these days i guess to plan to one of these days oh, yeah to join martial arts yes i i'm sure you are you're kicking it out in the gym right now mr mcgill is here and um miss ashley awesome hey, hey guys thanks for hanging out let me continue with this guys i got some water i've been doing it for martial arts for a while and and uh uh Training for many hours a day. And there was a time I was training five to six hours a day, and it really helped me to understand the true meaning behind martial arts. After a few years of that, you come to understand that martial arts is not just about physical training, it's about mental training as well. Along with my training, I started to read many articles and books about martial arts, including its history. Now, one particular master stood out to me, and his name is Ginchin Fudikoshi. Very famous martial artists amongst us martial artists that have been around for a while. Now, I have always been intrigued by what he wrote between his writings and what I've learned from the many teachers I've had over the years who have taught me. It has helped me to come to the conclusion as to what is the true meaning behind martial arts. And Paris, this is what I want to share with you guys there. And I'm speaking to parents right now in our community because right now, we're, you know, I think that it's so easy to think it's about kicks, punches, chokes, and blocks. But anyway, let me stick to what I wrote here. I feel that many martial arts practitioners with many more decades of experience than I would probably have more to add to my conclusion. And so without a doubt, this is just the beginning to my answer. And I'm sure it'll change when I'm 60 years old, which is a couple of years from now, I'm going to be 58. And maybe when I'm 70 or 80, I'm looking forward to seeing 
uh, what I would say when I'm, let's say, 90 years old to the meaning of martial arts. But anyway, martial arts is a path away, which is the Do. That's what, when we say Tang Su Do, or Taekwondo Do, or Hapki Do, or Ju Do, yeah, that's what we mean. We mean way. Okay, I would like to start with the word Do. Okay, it's pronounced uh, Do. Okay, not Do, not Taekwondo. But I think I'd like that though, Taekwondo. You got to do the Taekwondo. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, uh, but uh, martial arts, here, I say here, martial arts is not so much a destination, but it's a path away, okay? And some are happy with a few months of training of martial arts. That means that your path ends where you want it to end. You are in control as to where the path ends. For true martial artists, there is no end. For me, there's no end to the way of martial arts for me because martial arts for me is a way of life. It's a way of living. Anyway, I'm, let me stick to what I wrote here. There is always more to learn and more to improve, right? That's the way. That's life. Okay, so the word do refers to a journey. And to some, journeys never end. Martial arts is not just about fighting. Yes, it's used to protect yourself and to defend yourself. But some have abused martial arts and have tainted its true meaning and have used it for personal gain. It is for those reasons that more people would say it's all about fighting or using the martial arts just to kick someone's butt. Now the media has done its dastardly deed. It's very entertaining to see it on TV and the movies. Martial arts that kicks the punches, the ripping out of eyes <laughs> for those of you that know the Pope, uh, Pope Fiction. But uh, uh, I had a kid actually come up to me. Yeah, rips the one's eye. He was a seven-year-old kid. And that reference was to the film, this, I think the second Pulp Fiction film, <laughs> when Uma Thurman, I think, plucked out someone's eye. But guys, that's a spectacle. That's not real martial arts. And people have used martial arts and abused martial arts and tried to uh, uh, capitalize, monetize martial arts so that they can make as much money as possible. But they have moved away from the true meaning of martial arts. Why does it make sense for parents to enroll their kids in martial arts as young as two years old? Okay, my son right here, I'm referring to my son right here in this picture, as young as two years old, why would that make sense to parents? Okay, now I go on to here. A true martial artist avoids fights. I remember when I first started training when I was a kid, you know, I just wanted to kick butt. I remember my instructors would just really be on me a lot about, you know, changing my mindset. But I was a kid. I just wanted to do that. You know, so how does it make sense for parents if, you, you know, your child's going to want to kick butt? We don't want that. It doesn't make sense. We don't teach that. Real martial artists don't teach that. A true martial artist would not teach that. They would, uh, uh, under a good instructor, under a good martial arts instructor, students are taught from day one to avoid confrontations, to avoid the fights. Fighting can ruin a person's image. In a fight, some will, one will always get hurt. There is never a winner. And I remember, you know, there were times I would go to schools and and instructors would brag about how many times they were fighting, you know, and I had 500 fights. Now, for me, I think a true martial artist is someone that has been empowered, been on the path, and have been in few battles. Unless they're military or law enforcement, or they, it's their profession to go into volatile um, situations, you know, someone that is on the path will grow to this level of enlightenment where they are uh, aware they won't be in a confrontation. I remember when I first started martial arts, I was in the street gangs and I was in a lot of fights. But as I matured as a martial artist, I got into less and less confrontations where now, you know, I am rarely in a confrontation, let alone a physical confrontation. And so martial arts has enhanced and empowered my life so that I am, uh, I am equipped to not, to what I call to not I have non-escalation skill sets. So let me go on to it. Funakoshi says here that the correct understanding of karate and its proper use is karate do. In other words, the way of martial arts. One who truly trains in this way and actually understands martial arts and the way of martial arts is never 
easily drawn into a fight. The true meaning behind martial arts is to better one's self, to strive to become better and overcome your fears. And I move on down here. I'll jump down to the end here. With the practice of martial arts, your possibilities become endless. True martial arts is about developing oneself and character. Parents, how do we make sense of martial arts? Guys, hey, if you want to find about our program at DKC, go to DonatoKarate.com or give us a call, 856-235-0414. Parents, how can we make sense of martial arts? Now, let's, first of all, let's see how much fun a child will have. Let's go through the here. Right here. This is a video of me, let me just pause oh, yeah, for a second, of me doing a little champions class. We have four, five, and six-year-olds here, and watch the energy that I have, and watch how much fun the kids are having. Watch how I communicate with the children in a very specific way that, that is, uh, is directed to them. It's age-appropriate for their age, and watch this. <laughs> Now look at this guys, you see this little one here, this is, you know, a, a four, four and I think six, year, a five year old there doing this following directions and me guiding them. I look like the grandfather there with my, my gray hair, don't I? <laughs> That's gr grandpa there helping, helping the little ones, they're passing on the knowledge, I love it, so continue. Mr. McGill, Mr. McGill made a little uh, appearance there. I saw that, Mr. McGill. Get two kids, one that tells the truth, one that lies. Here's a big question: Which one would you want to be? So that's one of our mat chats, and the parents are telling us they love the mat chats. Now, th these are three, four, five, and six-year-olds. We go as young as three and a half years old on the floor, guys. That's that is mind-blowing to me. Back when I started, there were no kids. And then, of course, when Karate Kid came, came out, parents rushed to the martial arts schools and wanted to enroll their kids because they saw it made sense. They saw the value of it beyond the kicks and the punches that the child would actually be mentored to have a, a self-value uh, for themselves and to uh, do what they can to build themselves up to avoid confrontations to to overpower the challenges in their lives. So it's awesome to see. For me, it's just mind-blowing to now that we're actually teaching that young and it's just incredible so it makes sense let's go to the next slide here so how does it make sense parents that you would spend hundred and seventy nine dollars a month for a martial arts well think about this guys we're going to spend so much money on our children over the over the lifetime and I, I read a study earlier today that we're going to probably spend half a million dollars if your child goes to school the money that we will invest in our children you know from you know a quarter of a million dollars to half a million dollars or even more depending on the path that your child will take you know whether we spend it or we find a way to get a uh, student loans or if they go to school or just the money out of pocket like for example my my daughter had braces put in in her uh, uh, for uh, put braces in and that was like six thousand dollars okay guys so we're investing money in our children so how does it make sense that we spend 179 dollars or more a month for our children in martial arts well what we're doing we are raising up our children in the way they should go and and i don't put i don't say that lightly because as a dad i want to teach my children what they need not for just the todays but for the tomorrows i want their character to be built up now i have the luxury to not only be a dad but a grandfather so i can see through my own experience what martial arts has done for uh, myself and for my children i look at my son here and of course many of you guys know my daughter who's now 18 a full-time instructor and you know, I had a video here to show you how she did that, but we have a video, plenty of videos out here showing you how she teaches and her maturity, how she communicates in a very confident way to our little champions program. But look at my son here. Um, first-hand experience and value. Now, $179 a month is not, it's, it's like almost zero investment when it comes to 
pouring into our children and raising them up. Now, when you bring them to our academy, you know, I'm like the grandfather pouring knowledge into your child. And you saw how I did it. It's, it's very age appropriate. It's very uh, thoughtful. And I'm speaking to them, not talking at them, guiding and directing them on my knees. My, I'm on the front line with you guys, raising up our children, raising up your child, you know, being part of the village that raises a child. This is, and 179, how do you make sense of that? Gosh, it's easy. It's an investment in the, the today of our children and the tomorrows of our children. So this is, for me, an easy, easy spend. Easy spend. And because, you know, there's never a question of why do you do if our children are confronted with a challenge. It's what do you do? What are they going to do based on how we've equipped them? What are they going to do when they are confronted with the challenges of life? And challenges of life will come ready or not. And life does not wait for our children to be age appropriate. Okay, I know that firsthand experience. Okay, life will come fast and ferocious no matter what your age is. It's not like how I teach. I teach a child in a very age-appropriate way. Life doesn't do that. Life comes at, at you hard and ferociously. So what are we doing right now, parents, to equip our children for those moments? You know, child, I spoke to a parent the other day that enrolled their child in our program that saw the sense of this because their child is struggling being um, harassed and intimidated and abused in school and he's in the first grade ready or not parents life's going to come at our children you know fast and furious and then it's not going to be age appropriate we have a child in first grade and this is just one of many that is being assaulted and so what can we do? We need to equip them, empower them. We have children now, you know, a lot of times the kids are complaining about all this homework they're having, all this stuff. But guess what? Ready or not, when they go into the world and get a job, the job's not going to give them just enough and not going to hear their complaints. They're going to say, you know what? This is the job. You got to get it done. You know, you got to get this done. So ready or not, our children need to be ready and equipped to process what they need to get done on a daily basis. Now, I'm not going to say, let's go ahead and throw all this on our three-year-old, but we have a structured environment that's disciplined, that we can nurture them and help you to help your child to be equipped as fast as possible. We make it fun, we make it age appropriate, and we then build on top of that. That's why we have the different levels of belts and that we take them through. It takes time. And it's not going to happen overnight. It takes time. It takes, now whether you bring your child to us for one month, three months, six months, or the three years that it takes to get a black belt, doesn't matter to me. The moment you bring your child into our school, we start pouring into them, sharing the knowledge. So I highly recommend you give us a call, 856-235-0414 and share with us your concerns for your child and we will share how we will certainly help your child. I am certain of the fact that we will add value to your family's life with the work that we do there. It makes sense. So guys, give us a call, 856-235-0414. If you want to text me right now, guys, you can text me at 856-278-5282. Text me your questions. Text me uh, whatever's on your mind, your heart. You can text me right now or you can call us, 856-235-0414. Or better yet, go to our website, DonatoCarate.com. I share the class schedule there and also let you know what our current uh, new student um, special is. So go there, guys. So it makes sense, parents, for us to enroll our children in martial arts. It makes sense for us to invest in our children right now. But what if your child decides not to go to college, which is now becoming a bit of a trend? And students, I'm, meet, I'm talking to high, uh, college students right now that are frustrated at the fact they hate school, they don't want to go. But hey, we all know the power of education, the power of knowledge. But what are they really? Uh, how are they really participating 
in their education right now. In martial arts, we teach you, you and your children how to be disciplined. Discipline simply is doing what you're supposed to do, whether you feel like it or not. So what would it be like? What would it be like to have your four, five, six-year-old be taught by by Master Lisiaga, Grandpa over here, uh, taught about the power of doing your best whether you feel like it or not. Being disciplined means uh, just doing your best. And may, you may not feel like it, but you're gonna do it anyway. Why? Because that's black belt strong. Everyone wants to be a black belt. Everyone wants to be a ninja. Wouldn't you like to be a ninja and get things done? Yeah, let's get it done. We're teaching our children to do that. It makes sense to enroll your child in martial arts. It doesn't make sense to take your child to a school that has a ground and pound kind of mindset. It doesn't make sense to spend money to enroll your child in a tournament school that all they care about is trophies and spending money to get trophies. It doesn't make sense to me to do that, but it makes sense to enroll your child in a martial arts program that teaches them a way of life, a disciplined way, you know, a way that you have self-value. You value yourself, you value you because not you're perfect, but you're willing to do your best, forget the rest, to get after it every day, to get up in the day and set your goals. You have a mission, you've got a vision, you're gonna be black belt strong, and it starts young, guys. That makes sense to me. So give us a call, 856-235-0414, or text me directly, 856-278-5282. comes right to my smartphone directly, and you can definitely visit our website, 856 856- Two three five zero four one four. Okay, guys, thanks for spending this time with me, and I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, guys, I got to get ready for my meeting with Master Donato right now. Again, give me a call. Love to share what we're doing. Love to hear about your family. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much.